You thought I'd let them live. You thought I wouldn't return to this and just let Wuttenberg get away with declaring war on me. Right, Wuttenberg, best not keep the devil waiting. Ah, right, now I see what's happened here. Basically, I have only selected one of my units to attack Wuttenberg. Now, as tempted as I am to click the Begin Battle button, I'm going to get the rest of the army. Right, take two. Let's just do this awkward march to Wuttenberg again. Right, that is more like it. You know, if there is just one thing in this world that I absolutely love, it is sieges in Empire Total War. They are very fun, and I enjoy them a lot. Oh no, Wuttenberg, your war's going- Oh no, it's gone! Anyway, last week- Wake up, Wuttenberg! The neighbours are at the door. They're wearing red. When the British pikemen are inside of a fort, you know the siege is won. Activities like this are why we keep our army max fit. Pretty sure the whole point of castles is to keep the enemy out. In Wuttenberg's case, however, I'm not quite sure it's worked. You know, I reckon I've won this. Well, Wuttenberg, now you don't exist. Was it worth it? The Spanish have just declared war on me for the third time. Well, Spain, I am no longer at war with France, so, um, your right to be Spanish has expired. Welcome, Britain. Well, that complicates things. Looks like I will have to deal with you first. All right then, Westphalia, who has somehow eaten the United Provinces, also known as Netherlands. If you want to become British as well, then so be it. I cannot be bothered to do this battle properly, so what I'm going to do is just send the whole army in and let them deal with it. Well, that's just the way the cookie crumbles, I'm afraid, Westphalia. Well, I'm sorry if you like Austria, because it looks like they're gone. Here we go then, chaps. My first battle with the Spanish. My god, I don't think I can win. They're using snow camouflage, I can't see them! Well, that's smart of the Spanish to just leave their artillery in the middle of the field. Well, unfortunately for you, Spanish, I have just researched fire by rank. Alright, men, time for the ultimate charge! I think the Spanish have just realised that they are a tad bit buggered. Yep, buggered. Yeah, that's right. Who do you Spanish think you are invading English France? Or just France? I don't know, I haven't sorted out the whole name situation yet. And on the topic of Spain, I am going to take Flanders for myself and completely close off this front against the Spanish. Yeah, you know, something tells me I've already won. Something tells me that my line is much more superior to their... well, lines. Bloody hell, these Spanish peasants have the audacity to fire back at me. That's right, turn tail and run, you Spanish armed citizenry bastards. Estás muerto, amigos. And now, not only is Belgium British now, but we have also completely driven out Spain from this front. Right, now before I'm able to advance into mainland Spain, I'm going to have to first deal with this thorn in my side known as Westphalia. This battle will be mere moments long. Yeah, they're retreating, they never stood a chance chance, bless them. The blood of our enemies stains the ground even more. You know what, I'm gonna be honest, I have no interest in continuing this war with Westphalia. It's just too annoying and too long, and I want to invade Spain. And the war's not going particularly well for Westphalia either, so I have a feeling that they will accept a peace treaty if I give them enough money and technology I find behind the sofa. Um, right, so I just offered them money and technology, and they said, no, we just want the technology. Uh, yeah, sure, go on. My British blood gives me diplomatic skills that are unheard of. Unmatched. Well, good news if you like Austria, because it looks like they're back. <laughs> sure, Austria. Yeah. Okay. Now that I don't have to worry about Westphalia, I have managed to build an entire assault force just for Spain. I will now be casually besieging Madrid. Here be the desperate Spanish defenders on the walls of Madrid, looking down on the red invaders. Red as in British, not communist, of course. Oh, Jesus, I was a close one. Do not worry, Spain. As a friend, I am just testing your walls. That's no good, I'm afraid. You might want to strengthen them just in case an enemy actually attacks the fort. Oh wait, hang on a minute. I actually think there's about half of the Spanish army in this fortress. 
Um, excuse me, my Spanish friends. There is an entire wall of British soldiers outside of the gates waiting to just obliterate us. What shall we do? Well, that's easy. We'll just run straight at them. Are you tired of living? There's a perfectly, well, a bit broken fortress there, but you could at least live an extra 10 minutes instead of just bloody charging me. Your valiant charge will not be remembered in history because I am winning this battle and I will therefore write said history. Yeah, that didn't go brilliantly for you Spaniards, did it? Well, thanks to that Spanish charge, the fortress is basically now pretty much undefended. I'm pretty sure every single one of these guys here was just killed by my artillery. Well, here we go. It's not quite so easy when the bull stabs back, is it? Well, safe to say, the gate is an absolute deadlock. No, 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 Chuck, you can't go in there. The house is on fire. Ah, what do I know? When your men are getting defeated by air, I'm not sure there's much hope left. That's for the Spanish Armada, you bastards. Right, now, Spain may be British, however, they aren't done just yet, because I'm pretty sure they still own Gibraltar and somewhere in Italy. Right then, our next course of action will be Gibraltar and then Morocco, it looks like. When I don't like the look of something, I often shoot it. I don't like the look of the Spanish army. You got some colourful soldiers there, Spain, but it will not save you. This is a genuine question. Why do their cavalry riders look like they're from Yemen? Do you know what? I could probably just order my cavalry to charge them right now and then Bob's your uncle, we go home. Go forth, my light brigade! Charge them! But just don't make a repeat of the charge of the light brigade. That wouldn't be ideal for any of us. Alright, chats, we've caught them by surprise. It doesn't look like they expected to get rushed by horses just yet. Oh, shite. They've made the square. We are done for. Uh-oh! Okay, we- I was joking before about the square, but they've actually managed to kill my general. Yeah, no, this has gone disastrously. I'm ordering a retreat. Right, my cavalry will run, and then my line infantry here will hopefully provide some covering fire. There we go, covering fire. Lovely. The light brigade lives to breathe another di- well, a few of them anyway. We charged them once, and it went awfully. So if we charge them again, they'll never expect it. Just watch them run. Okay, now the Spanish have just- conducted a tad bit of a counter-cavalry charge, but it's fine. The pikemen are routing, it's not fine! Alright cavalry, that does it. I'm calling for another retreat. The Spanish cavalry have fell right into my trap. They have followed my cavalry, completely isolating themselves from the rest of the army. They are now... What's the word I'm looking for? Oh yes, buggered. Speaking of the Spanish army, they are currently being shot as we speak. Go on, pikemen, redeem yourselves! If you don't believe in the muskets, they can't hurt you! So close, chaps. Emerging from the smoke, this must be the coolest charge I have ever seen in this game. Now, here is a cavalry charge we can do. Combined arms military operations had a very different meaning back then to what they do now. A well-deserved victory there, chaps. That is one less Spanish army to worry about. How on God's green earth do the Native Americans own Transylvania? <clears throat> Hello, Gibraltar. That is just fine, chaps. Let them come to us. This is definitely going according to plan. What do we have to do? is shoot them before they get a chance to shoot us back. Well, uh, that was easy. And just like that, Gibraltar is back to being British. All is as it should be. I still have absolutely no idea how and why this happened. Well, Morocco, judging by both our armies' sizes, this is going to be a long one. Well, chaps, I'm sure you will know the routine by now. Once again, Spaniards, I am just renovating your walls. Just some renovation. You might not want to be stood on it while it's happening. Yeah, well, regardless of whether it is or is not two frames per second, the pikemen are in either way. This entire Spanish unit on this wall has just been obliterated by my artillery. Every single corpse here is because of my cannons, and there is only one guy left, and he's gone. Right, well, in this Microsoft slideshow mess over here, the militia have decided to join the pikemen. I see a few Spanish flags flashing, so I assume we're winning. You can't exactly tell who's winning without the HUD, so thank God we've got that, I suppose. That is a lot of dead horses. Oh, now what has happened here is my game has appeared to have crashed. And I was doing that battle for about half an hour, and I cannot be bothered to do it again. But I was winning anyways, so I'd say in all fairness, I can auto-resolve this one. And just like that, Morocco is ours. Well, after declaring war on me, look who wants peace. I'd say it's a bit too late for that, Carlos, wouldn't you? And we're at war with Sweden now. 
brilliant. Right, now I don't know about you chaps, but I'm not really sure what Sweden's doing here, or why they're doing it. However, I do know that it's making this turn take hours. I wonder if I just go ahead and declare war on Westphalia, and then just ever so quickly nab Amsterdam. Well, bloody hell, Amsterdam's now ours. However, we are now at war with Prussia, so I'm just going to very quickly make amends with them. There we are, diplomatic skills. And now we just need to take Westphalia itself, which we shall do at a later date. This is revenge for declaring war on me earlier. I've also just made peace with Sweden because I cannot be bothered to be at war with them right now. Well, this is it, chaps. Spain has two provinces left, which are both in Italy, I believe. One of them is Sardinia, and the other one is just somewhere in Italy. Right, let's see how well this goes, eh, Sardinia? Right, now I have noticed that there are some Spanish cavalry charging at me. I do not know if I have ever had to use the square formation before, but we're going to do it now. Bloody hell, that was effective. They have just... <laughs> they've done straight back round. Well, then that confirms it. Horses are scared of squares. Pretty much all this battle has been so far is just waiting for the Spanish to get close enough so that I can shoot. Well, my pikemen seem to be winning in the streets. Yeah, no, the Spanish don't know what to do. As far as they know, the smoke is shooting at them. Come on, chaps, let's end this battle quickly, please. These men conquered France, Württemberg, Spain, Gibraltar, Morocco. There is no chance we are losing now. I think it's safe to say, chaps, Sardinia is in the bag. Let's try out the square formation again. Bloody hell, that is how you encircle cavalry divisions. Now we just have to finish them off with bayonets and then job done. Yep, consider them finished, especially that guy. One down, one to go. Naples, the final Spanish province. Not for long, of course. Welcome back to shooting Spanish people until they give me their country. My men are very determined to take over the world. The Spanish are very determined to survive. That's the difference between us and them. I can't tell what they're trying to do right now. It's like they're contemplating whether to charge me or not, and therefore, as a result, are kind of just stood in my firing range. Well, here come the pikemen. These lot are buggered. I don't know what's happened to the Spanish organization right now, but the soldiers look like a scatter diagram. Well, the rest of the Spanish armies retreated, so I'm not sure why the mortar crews haven't. Well, they have now. Yep, there we go, victory. And on that note, that's the end of the Spanish. The standing of the British Empire has been massively increased on this day. Anyways, gentlemen, thank you very much for watching this video. I have a few goals for the next episode. The main one being, I wish to crush the remnants of Westphalia. I would also like to, shall we say, decrease the amount of pirates in the world. I, I want to destroy them. And I want to eat the rest of Italy. So we have all of that to look forward to and more next time. Anyways, tally ho chaps.